Hello fellow robots out there in internet land, I am Sobertron and welcome to the next episode of the Techtopia Survival Guide. In today's episode we are going to talk about the quote unquote last villager we can get and that is the Bard. And the Bard plays joyful music for all of our villagers. He makes them happy as they are going about their daily tasks and he also plays some amazing music at night in the tavern which we will be building today behind me on that hill. Some of you may, may have wondered why I've had this massive space in the middle of our village open and that is because I have a tavern plan for there. But before we get started I am out of space for villagers. I have no more homes. That was the last one we had and I need to build some more. So what we're going to do first is we will be finally building off of our storage building. So right now the storage is in this building, but eventually I have plans to put it in this central area. You can see that black wool block is the center of what I hope to be our village eventually. And I want to do something similar to what I have done with our town hall. So what I plan is to have three additional wings on this building and we'll have some functionality in those besides just space. Um, but we're also going to have some houses on the second level. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to build this up because right now I need some children. So uh, I'm going to build that up and I will be with you shortly once that is complete. So it's been a couple hours and as you can see just like when I expanded the town hall uh, building I might have gone a little overboard. So let's go take a look at what we have going on here. So down on these first floors, I plan on putting maybe kitchen, maybe blacksmith, just moving things more centrally located, and then I'll end up converting stuff like that probably into homes for our guys. All this is going to end up being our storage room down here. I probably would have built the fourth one too, but our farms are currently in the way, and I don't have uh, plans to move those quite yet. I do have plans, but it's it's a little early. Uh, but over here on the outside, I have some stairs that are going up to a second level, and we've got four bedroom homes up here. So I've already gone and converted a few of these. I think I made two more blacksmiths, a lumberjack, and a couple miners, but here's our nitwit we will be turning into a bard. Her name is Emily Shalabim. So, Shalabim, I have a good friend. His name is Sham Shalabim. He actually, I play with him all the time. He is the guy who helped me, or mostly him, design a lot of these uh, buildings that you are seeing here. Um, so let's turn her into our bard. Awesome. Emily Shalabim. So let's take a look at the AI really quick. And like the clerics, these guys are very simple. Like all villagers, they're reading in the library and they are visiting the tavern. The two things that the bard does is they perform in the tavern. So at nighttime, they will go into the tavern. They will, uh, if you have a note block in there, which I'll demonstrate later on, they will stand near that note block and they'll play songs. They will also perform in the village. When they're not in the tavern, they're just going to walk around, play music, and make our villagers just a little bit happier. So once you have a bard and a tavern, your guy's happiness is going to go through the roof. So what I'm going to do now is, I've already shown you, I'm going to build the tavern right up here on this hill. I'm going to eventually do a nice little walkway up this way, and then boom, tavern. Now this is going to be a big building. It's going to take me a couple hours to build. Uh, we're actually going to have some houses up top on the second floor. Um, but let me just get at it, and I'll be back with you shortly. So I wanted to give you guys a bit of a progress update on what I've done so far with the tavern. Um, we could just cap it off right now, put a roof over it, throw down a couple chairs, bam, bam, and it'd be done. But we're not going to do that. Uh, so the plan is this will be our, like act as our main entrance. The token will be right there, and that's because a lot of villagers will be coming from the storage, and we want them to come right into the tavern. So we're going to have a nice big open space here with lots of chairs uh, for our villagers to partake in all the beverages of the night and enjoy the music from our bard. I'm going to have a little little bar here just for decoration purposes. I have a set of stairs up here that kind of go against one of my unsaid rules of do not have one wide stairs. It shouldn't be too big of a problem. We're going to have some homes up here and over the main area. Uh, but because most of the villagers using these will be, all be leaving their homes at night, or excuse me, in the morning and going to their homes at night, uh, it shouldn't be that big of a problem. They're all going to be using it in the same direction of travel both times during the day. Uh, we also have a little outdoor area here. It's going to be like a patio area with some more chairs, some tables. 
Um, and I'm doing this because I think it just looks cool. Uh, and if you wanted to do something similar like this, kind of have an open area, all you need to do is make sure that you're following the basic structure requirements. And that's to ensure that you have a continuous floor space in the entire structure like we have here. And then all you have to do is put a little roof on this. So I'm just going to do a little awning that slowly tapers down over here. Um, so that's it for right now. Uh, I will be back shortly once this is done. This is a little bit more complex than my other builds, so it's taking me a bit longer than I like, but I hope you guys enjoy the results. And we have a tavern, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's mostly done right now. I still have some decorative things I want to do outside, but the building itself is functional. I want to add in some of these little cobble and fence things on the outside. And actually, I'm thinking about adding in a nice little water feature over here. But I think I'm going to cover that later. I want to do a whole episode about decorating your village with villagers in mind. Um, but let's let's take a look at this. And I have to be careful because we have ghost blocks in this version, and it's been a while since I've played with them. So, like all structures, you're going to need your item frame handy. Slap it anywhere in this region here. I'm going to put it above. Activation is nice. So, what I've done in here is I've created a nice few little tables for our guys to use. Chairs at all of them. Now, the tables aren't necessary. Your villagers, if you remember in my school, I don't have any desks for them. The tables just add a nice little decorative feature. So we have these nice little, little long row tables, some tables against the sides. They can look out the window as they enjoy a, a frosty brew. <laughs> um, and then out here on the patio, I've added a few more tables and chairs. It'll be nice having a, a little pond or a lake right here. The villagers have something nice to look out. Doesn't help any, but it makes them feel a little better. It actually makes me feel a little better. Mm, mouse going crazy on me there. Um, right now we have 72 villagers. Uh, I've actually gone in and added 84 chairs. Because what we have upstairs is some homes, which we will start to activate now. So we have a two-bedroom home here. It's very tight and cramped. Our villagers are going to be sad in here because we don't have enough blocks. But they live in a tavern. They should be fine, right? I mean, wouldn't you like to live above a tavern? It'd be pretty amazing, I say so myself. And another two home here. This one, I forgot to put beds in, so I'll do that off-camera later on. <laughs> wow. Um... So this one is also another two-bedroom home. Bam, so that's six so far. This one should be fine size-wise. Uh, we've got mm, 25, 30 blocks, something like that. I don't know. I didn't count. I just did what looked cool. And then in here, we have a six-bedroom home. Also, this one is going to be cramped for our villagers. But, hey, like I said, you live above a tavern. You know, who, I mean, whose dream isn't that? I know, as a single guy back in the day, that would have been awesome. But alas, married kids, jobs, adulting, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. So I'm going to AFK for a few minutes, let it become night again, and I'll show you how busy this place gets uh, once dusk approaches. So we, before we uh, go inside our tavern at night, I wanted to talk a bit about the Bard's first AI. So its first function is to perform in the village like it is now. So what's going to happen when you see your Bard doing this is that when the Bard is playing its song, any villager within 16 blocks will have a uh, 1 in 8 chance of gaining 1 happiness every 2 seconds. And then once the bard finishes the song, uh, any villager within 16 blocks has a 1 in 2 chance or 50% chance of gaining 2 to 3 happiness. So it's a nice little boost to get your villager going. Even if you can't afford a tavern, a bard is a nice way uh, for your villagers to become a little bit happier. Uh, there is a catch to this, though. Once the bard finishes its song, if the total happiness that was gained by your villagers was less than three, the bard is going to lose five happiness. However, if your bard makes lots of villagers happy, happy wow, I can't talk right now. If your bard makes lots of villagers happy, he's going to gain happiness, he or she in this case, will gain half of the total happiness uh, gained by the villagers that its song affected. So it's a nice little balance that Tango put into the into the mod uh, to make sure everything just kind of works. Um, so we will AFK at our usual spot up top, and I'll talk about the tavern once, once night falls. So it appears to be quitting time for our villagers' day at work, and they, a lot of them are heading towards the tavern. So let's take a look inside. Oop. So as you can see, our villagers are going to sit down in these chairs. Only one up, oh, two guys. 
three, four. Yes, it's working. It's working. Uh, so our villagers will uh, sit in the tavern and they will sit and they will gain happiness. They will partake in some frosty brews, as I discussed earlier. And our bard will also come in here. And because we have a nope locked down, he's going to stand in the vicinity of that. Now, when the bard comes in here and plays, he is going to uh, increase our villagers' happiness. Let's see. Oh, the outside. The outside's working nicely. Awesome. But let's let's talk about the bard some more. The bard's going to stand around our note block, and he will play a song. Where... Where the heck is he? This is weird. Where... Where are you? Why? Why are you there? You're supposed to be inside there. You're in there. I mean, I guess because the note block is kind of close to that, he said he's going to play outside. Cool. Our villagers are going to like it anyway, because they are gaining happiness. <laughs> Wow, Bard, you, you have failed us. You have failed us so much. So similarly to how he's playing in the village, he will uh, play for our villagers inside the tavern. So our villagers will gain between one and three happiness uh, every two seconds. Uh, and I think they have a... It's the same. I think it's one in eight percent chance of gaining one to three happiness every eight seconds. And then also, when the song finishes, our villagers have a slight chance to gain an additional boost... I believe it's three to five happiness, and it's the same 50% chance. Uh, the one difference in that also is that the bard will gain half of the happiness acquired by all the villagers, unless it is less than eight happiness in this case, uh, and then he will lose eight happiness. So that's it for the bard. That's it for the tavern. It's If you can get this early, it is another one of those buildings that will greatly increase uh, your villagers' Uh, productivity because the happier they are you can see they are raising the mugs for that last song uh, the happier they are the more productive they are uh, but ladies and gentlemen next time we will be taking on the necromancer there's a few things I needed to do before I do that I'm gonna show some of that next time uh, but also I may have to slow down some of this series uh, I am moving soon so February is gonna be a rough month for me uh, but I do also have other things to show you and that's my let's play series so i've been recording a couple episodes uh i haven't rendered any of them yet but they will be coming soon so if you enjoy massive builds and amazingness in vanilla minecraft that is the series for you if you like today's episodes go ahead and leave a like and comment down below and don't forget to subscribe because i am really enjoying this series and i hope to show you in the coming weeks all i have to offer but until next time have a good one everyone